request Mrs. Kaipa to give us an opening prayer. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, we are gathered here today to witness the launching of the new agricultural education curricula, the academic regulations, and the course outlines. I would, like, I would like to request the Permanent Secretary and maybe before that to acknowledge the, president, the presence of the Honorable Minister of Lands, Agriculture, Water and Rural Settlement, Dr. A.J. Masuka, the Deputy Minister for Lands, Agriculture, Water and Fisheries and uh, Rural Settlement, and the permanent secretary, and also recognizing the acting director for agricultural education, Mr. Don Rufema, who is our host here today, not forgetting our partners, namely the EU, the FAO, and the Zakis Consortium, notwithstanding all chief directors and directors here present and all stakeholders who are attending virtually. I noticed that we have got 91 people online at the moment, which is a very good thing, meaning that there are more than 100 people attending this important event. Having acknowledged the presence of all of you here, I would like to call upon the Permanent Secretary, Dr. John Bacera, to give us some welcome remarks. Dr. Bacera. of ceremonies, uh, Dr. Kuchwayo, the uh, Honorable Minister, uh, Dr. A.J. Masuka, uh, EU representatives to, to Zimbabwe, Alice Peslin, uh, probably in absentia or on the virtual mortality, FAO Regional and Country Director, Dr. Patrice Tala, uh, Deputy Ministers, uh, Honorable D.K., Honorable Douglas Karoro, and uh, Honorable VPH, Honorable Vangelis Peter Hartatos, uh, Chief Directors, uh, Directors here present, uh, Government officials and senior government officials here present, media reps uh, here present, and our uh, invited guests and participants who are joining us on the uh, virtual platform. Good morning to you all. I'm greatly honored to welcome you all to this special day in our program of work as we launch the Agricultural Education for Development 5.0 curricula for our agricultural colleges. Today's event is a culmination of the efforts by all the stakeholders who participated in the review and the development of the new curricula. I congratulate you for enabling us to reach this far. I'm sure the journey has been long, but for a good cause, of course. I've gone through the new curricula, and I'm happy that it goes beyond training uh, and extension by incorporating business advisory services, research, innovation, and entrepreneurship aspects. I've also recommended compulsory courses or modules like motorcycle riding and corporate governance and ethics issues to be integral part of the curricula. With such a comprehensive curricula, we will be able to churn out graduates who, whose capabilities will be top-notch to compete uh, and to complete the missing link in the agricultural transformation jigsaw. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, 
the various modules embedded in the new curricula are in sync with our expectation of enhancing our extension delivery support services, which largely underpin the agricultural recovery concoction. I have no doubt that the new Agricultural Education for Development Curricula 5.0 will provide students, farmers, and scientists with the right attitude, knowledge base, and skill set in the practice of agriculture. I'm sure we are all aware that agriculture is a science. Issues to do with, the quality, uh, with quality education are critical and it is uh, the only proven pathway to quickly transform sectors, resultantly transforming communities and societies as well. The need to upscale human capacity development is highlighted in our national blueprints, uh, and uh, namely uh, national development strategy, and of course uh, sectoral and subsectorial blueprints, uh, especially under the agriculture recovery concoction uh, and i'm sure we are all aware that we have uh, the agriculture and food systems transformation strategy agriculture recovery plan livestock recovery and growth plan uh, horticulture recovery and growth plan accelerated irrigation rehab and development aims and so forth and so forth the vision 2030 envisioned the need to transform and empower zimbabwe into an upper middle income society by year 2030 this is only possible uh, with uh, learned communities where an educated people is an empowered nation. The National Development Strategy number 1, 2021 to 2025, and the National Agricultural Policy Framework, NAP 2018 to 2030, buttressed by the Agriculture and Food Systems Transformation Strategy 2020 to 2025, acknowledges the need for skilled manpower with practical agriculture knowledge that resonate with the current demands of the agricultural sector. I have no doubt that issues relating to uh, the current demands formed the basis of what issues to focus on to come up with the responsive curricula that will be launched today. The mandate of the Department of the Agricultural Education is capacity development in the science and practice of agriculture. Hence, its services impact on all pillars of the agriculture and food systems transformation strategy. The review of the curricula, uh, taking into account what each pillar entails and ultimate gathering to witness the result of this journey are welcomed. Colleagues, comrades and friends, Honorable Minister, Honorable Deputy Minister, uh, DK, once again, I welcome you all to witness this important occasion. I thank you. Sarah, for the welcome remarks. At this point, I would like to request the representative from the EU Commission to give us some remarks. My name is uh, Martin Zhou. I'm standing in for the EU Head of Mission in Zimbabwe. First of all, I would like to apologize for the, the HOD, for the Head of Delegation who is uh, on leave. But also we have a rather unique uh, situation in our office in that um, all our senior people are not in the office. So he, he, our head of cooperation is on rotation. So she moved uh, to Kenya and uh, the deputy head uh, of, of, of mission is also on rotation and is away right now. And also our team leader in the agriculture and trade and private sector movement is, he has just retired, uh, Mr. Joachim Kunal. So um, I find myself uh, here to represent the office uh, and I, I would like you to bear with me. So what I will do really is to read the statement that would have been delivered by uh, His Excellency uh, Mr. Timo Olkonen 
who is the ambassador of the EU to the Republic of Zimbabwe. I will begin uh, by the salutations. Uh, Honorable Dr. Enshas Masuku, Minister of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Assessment. Uh, Honorable Dr. J. Basera, Secretary for Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Assessment. Senior government officials in this room. Uh, I would like to also to recognize the Zimbabwe Agriculture Growth Program Technical Assistance Team, which is ably led by Mr. Munamochiso. I would like to recognize again uh, members or representatives of our implementing uh, partners, who are Zakis, uh, for the Zakis and the SAF projects, uh, all protocol observed. It gives me a great pleasure to be part of this important occasion, uh, which is the launch of the Agriculture Education for Development uh, 5.0. The development of a new curriculum for agriculture education for development was jointly spearheaded by the government of Zimbabwe <laughs> and the EU funded projects transforming Zimbabwe's animal health and food safety systems for the future, which is the SAF project and uh, the Zimbabwe Agriculture Knowledge and Innovation System, ZAKIS, in collaboration with the Minister of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Settlement. The new curriculum for agriculture colleges is a culmination of consultations with the diverse agricultural stakeholders. The new curricula, which is titled the Agriculture Education for Development 5.0, codenamed AE for D 5.0. The implementation of the new curricula is expected to transform the way agriculture colleges train students and in turn the agriculture sector in Zimbabwe. As the EU, we support uh, voc vocational education training uh, of it because we strongly believe that it responds to the needs of the economy, but also provides learners with the skills, knowledge and competences that are important for the labor market, for personal development and also for active uh, citizenship. The curricular response to uh, our project, uh, the Zimbabwe Growth Project's overarching objective which is to contribute to the development of a diversified and efficient agricultural sector that promotes inclusive green growth. The focus of the ZAGP is on increasing profitability, building the capacity of farmers, service institutions, and the private sector through increased investment, uh, institutional reforms, and policy alignment. The curriculum also responds to the national policy landscape relevant to agriculture in Zimbabwe, which includes uh, the Zimbabwe Vision 2030, which seeks to grow the country into a middle income economy by 2030. Secondly, the National Development Strategy, which is a, uh, a five-year medium-term plan aimed at realizing Zimbabwe's vision 2030 through strategies of import substitution, and growing local value chains based on Zimbabwe's own comparative advantages. It also responds to the Zimbabwe National Agricultural Policy Framework uh, that has just been alluded to by the Secretary, uh, which focuses on efficient and inclusive agricultural education training to address inadequate skills, many power, practical agricultural training and coherence between curricular and industry needs. It also responds to the Zimbabwe Agriculture and Food Systems Transformation Strategy 2020 to 2025, which has three pillars, which focus on efficient agricultural knowledge, technical and innovation systems, and also uh, which uh, emphasizes that farming must be approached from a business perspective. The Zimbabwe National Qualifications Framework, which also seeks to ensure and standardize vertical and horizontal transferability of credits and qualifications in line with the study qualification framework. This uh, occasion, uh, or the curricula, 
also responds to Education 5.0, which is the framework for higher and tertiary education institutions in Zimbabwe, and which and has been expanded from three traditional missions or Education 3.0, which is training, research, and community service outreach, and now covers five missions, uh, Education 5.0, to include innovation and industrialization so as to move forward uh, towards uh, problem solving and value creation. The Agriculture Education for Development 5.0 contributes to the attainment of some United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, in particular, goal number two, uh, which is end hunger, achieve food security and improved nutrition to promote sustainable agriculture. Goal four, ensure inclusive and equitable quali quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. It also responds to goal number five, which six, to achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls, and as well as goal eight, which is uh, aimed at promoting sustained, inclusive, and uh, economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. This curricular is centered around five key missions, which are training, high quality training of learners on the fundamentals and practice of agriculture, uh, secondly, extension and business advisor services, uh, which is uh, aimed at colleges uh, that must act as centers of excellence in servicing the surrounding farming communities. Research. The curricula has a strong emphasis on problem solving, uh, problem based learning, which is PBL, and on application of modern technologies in order to cultivate in our learners problem solving skills that enable them to contribute to improved production and marketing of agricultural products through evidence-based decision making. The, the fourth pillar, which is innovation, focuses on translating research into goods and services to ensure profitability and sustainability of agricultural business. And uh, lastly, but not least, uh, entrepreneurship pillar, uh, which uh, seeks to generate income to sustain college activities while providing teaching and learning facilities. Also emphasizes value addition and commercial orientation in the agricultural value chain in the curricula to produce graduates who are able to set up and manage agricultural enterprise, create employment and adapt within dynamic agricultural systems by taking advantage of market innovations and value chains. The curricula is expected to catalyze transformative agriculture development by establishing a practical, relevant, market-oriented and farmer-oriented education system that provides hands-on experience and exposes students to modern farming practices and, and technologies. It also responds to emerging global trends in agriculture, for example, e-agriculture, GIS and most sensing and precision agriculture. The, the two projects which have collaborated, ZEC and Zakis uh, and SEF, envisage that AE4D 5.0 will provide students, farmers, and scientists with the right attitude, knowledge, and skills in the practice of, of agriculture. It will also create a pool of skilled, enterprising, competent, and innovative personnel that is capable of meeting the diverse and changing needs of our agricultural sector. The rollout of the curricula will allow, will now need to be supported with the relevant capacitation of agricultural colleges, the teaching personnel, and the students in a manner that will will ensure effective delivery of the new curriculum. Zakis uh, specifically seeks to improve Zimbabwe's agricultural sector by enhancing the dissemination of agricultural knowledge and stimulating innovation through strengthening the working links among agricultural education, research and extension services. 
whereas the other project, SAFE, focuses on building the capacity for animal disease control and sanitary and phytosanitary food service services in the livestock and the food processing and handling sector. The overall objective of the project is to transform Zimbabwe's animal health and food safety systems for improved livestock productivity, food and consumer safety that enhance both domestic and international market access. Finally, I would like to congratulate the government of Zimbabwe, in particular the Minister of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water, Rural Settlement on this milestone achievement. I thank you. For those remarks, uh, we now proceed to the handover of the curriculum document by the Acting Director for Agriculture Education, Mr. Dondo Fema. He's going to hand over the documents to the Honorable Minister, Dr. A.J. Masuka. Forward. Minister, David Minister, Permanent Secretary, all protocol observed. Being presented before you, Honorable Minister, is a product of intensive and extensive, properly researched work done by the Ministry, the various stakeholders, including EU, SEF, and Zakis. The product is in two parts. The curriculum for the seven agricultural colleges, which do the general course, and the specialized one for Mazoe Veterinary College. They are being presented to you for endorsement and launch. Honorable Sir. Can we put the pump on, please? Thank you. Agricultural Education, Diploma in Agriculture, General Academic Regulations. Mm. A fine product. Great. And the next one. Department of Agricultural Education, Diploma in Agriculture, Curriculum and Minimum Body of Knowledge and Skills. Again, something that uh, I'm fairly familiar with, having been uh, Chairman of the University of Zimbabwe when we started the Agriculture, uh, the Education 5.0, and said that we needed a minimum body of knowledge and skills across all universities and now we're applying this to our agricultural colleges is something that is really enviable and i thank you for for, for this you need to sign okay now let's do the process thank you Oh, this is the second set. This is for Mazoe. Diploma, oh, Department of Agricultural Education, Diploma in Animal Health and Production. Yeah. And again, a very fine product. Diploma in Animal Health and Production, General Academic Regulations. This must allow us to leapfrog agricultural transformation.
from her secretary. May I hand over these to you for implementation. I invite you to proceed with the launch of the product that you have just received. Over to you. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, Acting Chief Director, Department of Research and Specialist Services, Dr. Kuchwayo, the EU representative to Zimbabwe, Mr. Tim Olkanen, as represented by Mr. Joe, the FO regional and country representative, Dr. Tala. Deputy Minister Douglas Caroro, Deputy Minister in Absentia, Evangelist Peter Tatos, and uh, just to note that uh, we are saddened by the tragic loss of the Deputy Minister's uh, father, <coughs> and he's going through a very difficult uh, moment at, the, at present. I met him in the morning, and. Uh, encouraged him to stay at home and be able to ensure that he comes back fully recovered. The Secretary for Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Resettlement, Dr. John, oh, there's another P there, why, why did they put it? Dr. John Fumvudza Basera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure because it's hugely successful, everyone will want to claim his name. But we must give it to the peers. Mm. Chief directors present, and directors, senior management and staff of the entire ministry, uh, the media representatives present here, and all the stakeholders joining us virtually. A uh, very good morning to you all. I'm honored to address you on this historic day for our agricultural education transformation. Zimbabwe undertook a transformative land reform program more than 20 years ago. This ushered in 20,000 A2 farmers and 360,000 A1 farmers, in addition to the 1.8 million rural households, Matenganyika, and old resettlement farmers. Perhaps over 90% of these categories of farmers needed and still need skills in this newly found occupation. Erratic rainfall driven by climate change, poor access to finance, logistics and storage problems, dislocated markets, a changing rural demography, among other factors have led to perennially low production and productivity. This has been compounded by a rigid education system that has not responded to the versatile requirements of the new creed of farmers from smallholder, A1, small scale, A2, and even larger farmers. Agricultural colleges have continued to produce graduates ill-suited for this new need focusing on the production of training and extension service graduates instead of deliberate farmer-centric and business-oriented advisory service graduates for a new land reform dispensation steeped in the college's display of unique entrepreneurial excel excellence and radiating into the surrounding communities and acting as epicenters of agricultural transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in this context that the transformation of Zimbabwe's agricultural college education system is long overdue. Vision 2030 of an empowered, prosperous, upper middle income society eloquently enunciated by the President, His Excellency Dr. E. D. Munangagwa, requires a new education paradigm as agriculture is at the core of rural development and rural transformation to power the improvement in livelihoods we so wish. And Zimbabwe's journey to 2030 is guided by the National Development Strategy, the Agriculture and Food System Strategy, which is an important component of NDS-1, the Agriculture and Food Systems Transformation Strategy seeks to transform lives and livelihoods, and this must be propelled by a new education system. The preoccupation of our agricultural colleges has been hitherto 
agricultural education 2.0 whose outputs were trainers and extensionists as it focused on warning training and extension skills the new agricultural education for development 5.0 six five missions and the first one is training and this training is about imbuing contextual, relevant, practical, and quality understanding of the fundamentals and practice of agriculture. So this is essentially about training trainers. The second mission is business advisory. It's concentrating on inculcating confidence and values of agriculture as a business. And agriculture is an art and a science, while instilling a sense of agency as the agents of overdue transformation of rural subsistent households to rural commercial households, A1 farmers to small and medium enterprises, and A2 farmers to business women and businessmen. And this is critical. The graduates ought to be agents for overdue transformation of the agricultural landscape. Third, research. And this is elevating thinking processes and self-esteem, heritage-based, cultivating independent problem-solving, uh, problem-based learning, applying novel, novel technologies and processes to modernize agriculture and creating graduates capable of intervening at any part of the agricultural value chain to transform production, productivity, and profitability. And fourth, innovation. And it's about cultivating constant enthusiasm for discovery-led progress, illuminating and enlightening vistas of potential improvement to ensure profitability and sustainability of agribusiness. And fifth, entrepreneurship. And this entrepreneurship is twofold. First is a focus on generating sufficient resources to sustain the college as both a learning and a business center. And second, it is about creating graduate entrepreneurs capable of transforming agriculture, enabling agriculture uh, graduates to set up and manage, and manage successfully agricultural enterprises, enabling graduates to create employment, and enabling graduates to adapt to the dynamic agricultural landscape and changing value chains. This is critical. Moving from agricultural education 2.0, which focused on producing, mass producing trainers and extensionists, and may I dare say optional extensionists, who chose who to visit, when to visit, and how often in a year, to agricultural education for development, purposeful orientation towards development that cat catalyzes rural transformation and rural transformation for rural industrialization is the catalyst for the transformation to Vision 2030. So I very much look forward to the new crop of agricultural graduates as agents of transformation. Government is also seized with in-service training of the existing cadre of trainers and extensionists so that they too can be sufficiently physically and mentally motorized for this exciting agricultural transformation. Finally, I would like to acknowledge and thank the various stakeholders who have partnered government to make this life-changing education system a reality. May I mention the European Union-funded Zimbabwe Agricultural Growth Program. When we work together and when we act together, we can do more. I thank you. Minister, and uh, can I request that we give him another pom pom?
Thank you. We have all heard about agriculture education as a tool for the transformation of the agriculture sector in Zimbabwe. I now call upon the Deputy Minister for Land, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Settlement, Honorable Douglas Karoro, to give us closing remarks. Director of Ceremonies, Acting Chief Director, Agricultural Research, Innovation and Development, Dr. Kuchwayo, our guest, Honorable Minister Dr. Anxious J. Masuka, uh, who is the Minister of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Resettlement, Deputy Minister, uh, Honorable uh, VP Haritatos, and once again my deepest condolences on the loss of your father, Honorable Haritatos. I am also wishing uh, your mother, Amai, who is still hospitalized, to get well soon. Permanent Secretary Dr. J. Basera, EU Representative, Chief Directors, Directors and Deputy Directors, our sponsors, media representatives, all ministry staff, ladies and gentlemen here physically present, and all those stakeholders virtually attending this launch. A very good morning to you all. On behalf of the Ministry of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water, and Rural Resettlement, it, is, it indeed gives me great pleasure to make a few closing remarks and express gratitude to all those who made this launch of the Agricultural College Curricula called Agricultural Education for Development a success and a reality. Honorable Minister Say, I sincerely want to thank you for sparing time from your tight work schedule to accommodate the launch of this long-awaited tool for transformational training, which is the reviewed agricultural college's curricula. All this that has been achieved today as a ministry and the Department of Agricultural Education in particular is as a result of your guidance and inspiration to us. Your result-oriented oriented, and the eyes on the bold approach to work has made us what we are today as a ministry. Thank you very much, sir. Honorable Minister, sir, I am reliably informed by the Department of Agricultural Education that the Deputy uh, Ministers and the Permanent Secretary have also, uh, were also sources of wisdom and guidance as they consistently nudged all the key stakeholders to tenuously complete and implement this curriculum which is more practical oriented and fits very well into the national development strategy one objectives. They made them work tirelessly and strove to fulfill President Dr. E. D. Nangagwa's proclamation of Vision 2030. This can only be achieved when colleges train and give students the right and correct agricultural uh, orientation. I believe this new curriculum will provide solutions and will enable colleges to produce well-trained entrepreneurial graduates, extension specialists who are innovative, research and business oriented. These attributes are the five pillars of this curriculum, hence it is coined 5.0. Development of this curriculum has been a tedious journey and I want to express my sincere gratitude to the consultants, professors uh, Brighton Mvuni, uh, Mashon Joa and Lamasaka for a job well done. Coming up with this kind of a document required a lot of sacrifice and commitment. Thank you very much, gentlemen. To our sponsors, European Union and the implementing partners, SAFE and Zakis, it is with great humility that I thank all of you for your huge help in the development and the timely launch of this curricula. As you can see, all the sacrifice you made was not in vain. Please don't end your support here as we still need your help in module writing, training of users, and the purchase of tools of trade like ICT gadgets for online learning. Thank you so much. Lastly, I would like to thank all chief directors, directors, deputy directors, 
Department of Staff and all stakeholders who participated in the development and launch of this curricula and urge the Department of Agricultural Education to effectively implement what is contained in this document. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please keep safe from COVID.